Hey, 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 Sagittarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, September 15th to the 16th. Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Saggies Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, because it just can't. But hopefully, you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Sagittarius. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to grab some cards and then get a channeled message just for you, Sagis. What's going on for my Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? Oop, wait a minute, got a couple of flippers for you. All right. We have the Knight of Swords, Sagittarius. The Death card. The Two of Swords and the Moon card. Yes. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the World card. All right, Sagis, let's get this message from Spirit and see what they have for you today. Okay. They said, stop it with the woe is me. If any of you are in that sort of state, like woe is me, feeling sorry for yourself, they're wanting you to snap out of it. They said, snap out of it. Stop it. Lift your head up high. And now they're saying, you need to look up. Like, look to the sky. Connect with the sky. I'm not talking, it, it, it's the sky. Like, not planets. They told me this before, but in relation to Virgo, but they were like the planets. You are the sky. Now they're showing me thunder and lightning. Magnetism. Okay. This, especially when a storm's a brewing, Sagittarius, they're wanting you to connect with this storm. Like the thunder, the lightning, that's what they're wanting you to connect with. Okay. Thank you. They want you to pay attention to how you're feeling when you do that. What's going on internally? How do you feel? How are you connecting? What is going through your mind, they're saying? And how do you feel in your heart chakra? So you got homework, Sagittarius. All right. There's communication coming in, Sagittarius, and are you blocking it? Some of you may have blocked somebody. And they're trying to communicate. I feel this is hidden from you because you blocked them. Maybe try unblocking them, Sagittarius, because I feel like there's a message there that's hidden. This obviously is somebody from the past. Whoops. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This is you. It's like, like these are both you. The Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords, okay? I feel like you don't want to hear nothing from this person. You have totally blocked them out in your mind, in your heart. And it's like you're guarding it with this Queen of Swords here. You're guarding your heart. 
Get the Queen of Swords out in front of you. This is somebody you cut out. Tell me about the Moon card. Tell me about the Moon card. What is hidden from Sagittarius? And I will ask about new love in just a moment. The Nine of Cups. Ooh, your wish fulfillment is hidden. Is this new or old? Let me clarify this. Is this... Wow, the Hanged Man and the Two of Cups. This is love. This is a wish fulfillment in love. Is this new or old? Some new, some old. Whether it's new or old, I feel this has been like waiting in the wings for you. For the right timing, now they're showing me the Wheel of Fortune. So timing has a lot to do with this. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Ah, yeah, see? Four of Swords. You have not spoken to this person. Five of Wands and the Hermit card. Oh, this person. I feel like a lot of drama surrounds this person with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. I feel like they've done a lot of inner reflection. They want to come out of non-communication here. Clarify this Five of Wands. They also may feel or fear that there's competition here. Yeah, this is this is sort of a hidden fear. This may be a twin with the high priestess here. I feel like they're uh -huh. you know what it is, Sagittarius is one of those things. It's it's one of those manifestation things, right? Especially with the high priestess here. She's the keeper of secrets. When she wants to manifest something, she keeps it to herself. Because that is a rule of manifestation. Now what I'm feeling here is you've cut this person out. You've blocked this person out. Hence, opening up space for love to come in. Love is coming in. They sense this. They sense this competition. So this is why they're coming in. Now, that could be one of two things. I mean, this could be totally out of ego, like, no, uh, nobody else can have them. Or it can be genuine, and this just sort of got them off their ass, right? Tell me about the death card. They want to resurrect this. They want to transform it. Yeah, they've been holding back. Two fours here, too. They want to transform this. Tell me about the Two of Swords for Sagittarius here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Page of Swords. <laughs> you don't see that this person has been spying on you. Yep. You've just been ignoring it. Queen of Pentacles. You've been focusing on... <laughs> you've been focusing on your coin. You're like either an empress or on the verge of becoming an empress here that's what i'm feeling you're appreciating other things in your life and you're not even paying attention to this older um, old person tell me about the two of cups here who is this two of cups coming in this may be some of you like it's like both tell me about the two of cups tell me about the two of cups Sagittarius. What is this Two of Cups? What is this Two of Cups? Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is one of many options that you're going to have. But this person you're going to be, I feel like this person is you're going to be passionate about. Could be a water sign here with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I do feel you're going to offer your love to this person. This, this is a dream come true for you. 
So what is your advice for Sagittarius as far as this Two of Cups goes, this person over here? Now for some of you, this could be the same person, but I am feeling that they're different. Five of Pentacles. Okay, your advice here is that if this person comes in before this old person does, don't throw this person out by the wayside. They're wanting you to recognize what is here and what you have, okay, and celebrate that. Essentially, it's like don't ghost them. Three of swords and heal. Make sure that you're healed before you step into the new relationship, okay? One more card. Justice. Utilize your intuition. You've got to work on that balance within of body, mind, and spirit, okay? This is also karmic justice coming your way here. So be guided by your intuition and let that be number one on your list for guidance, okay? And not your head so much. The bottom of the deck, Sagis. Yeah, this is all going to be a surprise. This is all like a tower moment, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have a fabulous day, Sagis, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies tomorrow. Namaste.